I'm Darren Skibiris from Race Centre. We're a small performance motorcycle shop in Brunswick, in Melbourne. Jed's dad, Mal Metcher, is heavily involved and, you know, he's a, he's a cornerstone of this operation. He's our chief mechanic. Um, we started out by ourselves being racers. Everybody involved in the business is a racer. Started off at grassroots and then in the Australian Championship. Um, and we've developing our own suspension technologies here in Melbourne and we hope well, we'll be taking them to World Superbike this weekend with Jed Metcher um, and to see what we can do on a world stage. The upcoming weekend is the first round of the World Superbike Championship where myself and Race Centre have been uh, preparing uh, for a very long time now, uh, since, the, since the start of 2014. Uh, it's been a long road, to be honest. Um, we've we've been had our lots of ups and downs, a few, an injury along the way, a lack of funding, things like that. So it's been a, a very interesting road, but we're almost there. Um, uh, our goals for this weekend uh, are pretty much to, to get World Championship points and, and to do the best job we can with, with what we've got. When, you, when you're talking about entering corners at Phillip Island, like Turn 12, when you're entering about over 200 kilometres an hour, knee on the ground, elbow nearly on the ground, and then the rider's got to convince himself on the edge of the tyre to open up the throttle hard and drive it out without you know, worrying about a potential high side of going over the bars, you need a lot of confidence to do that. It's, um, it's been a long road and, and very difficult for the team, like Darren and my father and Ben and, and everyone have done a, an incredible job to, to get to where we are with absolutely no budget and a minimal time while running a, a business like Race Centre. The way the team regrouped yesterday, Saturday morning, in free practice three to move um, Jet up the grid and he almost got through to Super Pole two was phenomenal. Um, and after a bad start, you know, for Jed to make his way through the field and get into 14th position and get world championship points for our small little team with our tiny budget was a, a pretty good result. Jed's dad, Mal, looked, tapped me on the shoulder, pointed to the ground and we realised that we had a hole in the radiator and the bike was overheating. At that point my heart just absolutely sunk and I thought, well, We've done the best we can, the weekend's over. And uh, to his credit, Mal grabbed me, said let's run this bike down to the pit. Probably a few swear words in between that, to be honest. Um, Jed got the bike back to the pit, the boys ran down the pit lane, everybody involved just worked their butts off, fairings off, um, got the old radiator off, new radiator on, filled it with water, but the problem was is that because the bike and the engine was so hot, didn't accept any water. Um, if we had it known, in hindsight, it's a wonderful thing. It would be awesome to have some boiling water standing by because we could have added that to the engine. But anyway, the guys got Jed back out before the race started and he started from the back of the field and within the first lap got up to 14th place, which was phenomenal. Um, but the bike wouldn't cool down. We didn't get enough water in it, so Jed had to unfortunately retire. And um, he didn't because he knew the engine would blow if he stayed out there. Although it was a tough weekend at World Superbike down at Phillip Island, uh, the, f the future is, is looking really good. Uh, it, was, it was just a little bump in, in the journey really to, um, because I'm now moving on to the British Superbike which is one of the most competitive championships in the world. And I think without a company like Race Centre here in Melbourne in Australia, the, it would struggle like in the years that it has um, and, and at the moment you know, you can see the level of racing in Australia has stepped up. Obviously not only because of Race Centre, but I think that we have had a massive uh, impact on the industry. And the whole experience, while it wasn't how we planned it, has given me a lot of strength to want to continue and to get stronger and better. Because knowing what we know, yeah sure the results weren't there, but I don't think it's unrealistic for us to compete a lot further up the field in that, in that class and it's not beyond our rider by any stretch of the imagination. Jed is phenomenal um, and the team's phenomenal so we hope to be back and do it again and through the, the course of the next 12 months is help our, our own customers achieve their goals through racing and that's really what Race Centre is all about. <laughs>